Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're gonna do something really quick on the DSP. I'm going to show you how to use the remote out sequencer and explain what it actually does. Normally when you have a system and you have your radio, it has a remote out. That will turn on your amplifiers. Sometimes you may get a pop from your amplifiers if they turn on or off in the wrong sequence. The correct sequence is that your source, in this case the radio, turns on first, then your amplifiers turn on. And the correct sequence to shut it off is your amplifiers turn off first, then your radio turns off or your source, which also is the DSP, turns off last. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the radio, and what that's going to do is send the 12 volts to the remote in on a DSP. Once the radio turns on, the DSP turns on, then the DSP will start to turn on the sequencers one, two, three. In this case, is only one, two. I only have two wires here, so I have the third one off. So as I turn this on, keep an eye on these lights. As you see them light up, the amplifiers in the system will also turn on. There the radio is on, the DSP is on. Now the sequencer will start. One, two and you probably heard that little pop and now you probably hear some white noise coming from the system once all the amps are on so actually the third one does come on here so what we do is you just click in bring it to the main menu if you go left you already have the sequencer I'm going to zoom in here a little bit Okay, so once you click into the sequencer, you have two options, time, on and off. With on and off, you can turn the sequencers on and off. So you have two options here, which sequencer and on or off. So we have S1, which is the first one, S2, which is the second one, S3 is the third one. So we can go and we can turn those amps off. Let's say you have a stunt wall and you have inside music and you have bass, you can have all your stunt wall amps on one. You can turn them all on and off if you're not using them. You're riding around in the car, you're not having your stunt wall playing. You don't want those amps just, just on receiving signal getting hot. Just turn them off. You can hear that there's no more white noise. So one, two, three and they're all off and then we can go back and turn them on it's good for diagnosing something if your amp goes under protection one of them you can turn it off and turn it back on quickly before anybody knows so if you hold the button of course you go back and go back in the sequencer then we have time what this is is the delay between these turning on and off so right now it's at two seconds you can go from zero to half a second all the way up to four seconds with half second increments. So we'll turn this down to half a second. So now we'll turn this off and watch how fast they turn off. So as the radio turns off, you see how fast that went. The sequencers turn off, then the DSP will turn off. So we'll turn it back on. You usually don't want them that fast. You want to give everything kind of a chance to turn on. You see it's half a second and it turns everything on. So we'll go ahead and turn it back to two seconds. And then we'll turn this off again. And you can see it every two seconds, one more will shut down. Then the DSP will shut down. So there you have it. Turn it on one more time so you can kind of see the radio doing its thing as well. 12 volts to the remote in on the DSP, which then turns on the sequencers, which turns on the amplifiers. In this case, I have a mixer board up top here. So I have the mixer board on one and then the amplifiers on two because I only have one remote wire going to the actual system from this box. So I hope this helps you out to learn 
what the sequencer actually does and how to use it. If you have any questions about the sequencer or suggestions on any more videos for the DSB 2.4 2.8X, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.